Hello, and welcome to this Linked POS training video. In this video, we're going to be talking about suppliers in Linked POS. Suppliers are one of the most crucial parts of Linked POS. To go to the Suppliers section, click on the Suppliers tab. This will open up the table with all existing suppliers in Linked POS. Note that when you first install Linked POS, the only supplier that's added by default is the walk-in supplier. You can search for a specific supplier by choosing the criteria and typing in the search bar. To view the purchases you've made from a particular supplier, you can double-click on the supplier and click on this ledger button. This will open up the table showing you your complete history of purchases and returns from this supplier. You can search for a particular purchase by selecting a criteria and typing in the search bar. To add a new supplier, click on the green plus sign in the top left corner. This opens up the form that allows you to enter a new supplier. Start off by giving the supplier its account number. This is its unique identifier. Next, give the supplier its name, followed by its registration number. The field on the right can be used to insert the supplier's logo for their profile into Linked POS. There are three main ways that can be used to insert an image into Linked POS. You can browse for an image on your computer, or you can connect a webcam or a camera and capture a live image. Or finally, you can scan an image right into Linked POS. Next, enter the supplier's phone, contact person's name, and email. Choose the status. The status allows you to choose whether the supplier is active or blocked from your store. Enter the supplier's address in the next section. If you have any additional comments to add, do so in the comment section and hit save. As you can see, the supplier has been added to your list. You can also view and edit supplier information by double clicking on the supplier, or you can click on the supplier and click on this edit button in the top left corner. This will open up the window that allows you to edit supplier information. Edit the things that you need and hit save. This will update the information. We hope you find this video helpful. If you have any questions, leave them down in the comment section below.